Welcome to another episode of Cooking With Me, Jana Barry. Today we're going to make an apple pie. The apple pie, again, is made for my sister Renee. My sister Renee came over a few weeks ago with my brother, Frankie, and my sister Michelle, and she seen my beautiful apple pie on the table, and she did not believe that I made it. She really didn't believe we made it. I'll show you that clip now. All right, this apple pie that we're eating, you do not think, why don't you think I made the apple pie? I, you know, I, I swear on my grandchildren from scratch. I, I worked all day, 12 hours. All right. All right. I, no. It was good. Yes. I want to get it for Thanksgiving. She, she took a long time to clean it. All right, wait, wait. So, Renee, Renee, what do I get if I make a video? I'll give you 10 bucks. How about 10 lotto tickets? All right, 10 bucks. I could do that. 10 lotto tickets. Where did you buy it? That's all we're interested in. I made it. I made it. Before you start making your apple pie, have all your ingredients lined up. The recipe calls for two sticks of butter cold. So that means cold from the refrigerator. The recipe also calls for ice cold water. So that means water with ice cubes in it. If you follow the instructions step by step, you should not have a problem making apple pie. You don't adjust the recipe until you follow the recipe and then, you know, you can adjust it and change things when you know what you're doing. So let's get started. Okay, so here we go. Here is two and a half cups of flour, a half a tablespoon of sugar, and a half a teaspoon of sea salt. Close my food processor. I'm going to pulse, pulse it. Here's my water I'm getting ready to put in. Okay, here we go. You know what? I'm adding let's pulse it a bit. Here is okay, there you go. Two sticks of cold butter. I actually sliced it and put it put it in the freezer for a few minutes. Pulse that a bit. Here's my half a cup of water. Wanna make sure that the butter, see that? It's all broken up, it's pea-like, you know, it's all crumbly. We have a half a cup of ice water. It may need a little bit more, so if I don't see the ball forming, it may need a teaspoon more. There's just a teaspoon. Let that form. Look at that, it's coming together. There you go. Perfect. There you go. So this crust is a nice, wipe this down, let me add a little flour there. It's a nice buttery crust. So I'm just going to make a little log here. Cut in half. I like to do one a little bit bigger than the other. This is my bottom. And this is my top crust. And we're going to put this in the refrigerator for an hour. While this is in the refrigerator, we're going to peel the apples. 
just like this. I'm gonna put one, you know, in, a, in his own bag. We're going to peel the apples and make the sauce. Let's peel an apple together. Try to use a good peeler and just take off the skin and not waste the apple. I'm actually saving the peel. I'm going to put the peel in a pot of water with a cinnamon stick and some cloves. And I'm just going to simmer it and my family's really going to appreciate it. While I'm doing this pie, they're outside doing holiday lights. So week before Thanksgiving, I'm actually going to freeze this apple pie. My friend Sandy at work gave me the recipe. She came to work one day and told me about this fabulous apple pie that her sister-in-law made, how buttery and flaky the crush was and how creamy and saucy the filling was. So I tried it and I was really happy. I mean, in all my years of uh, baking, I've made many apple pies, but none of them were this good. So a little paring knife. If you don't have a paring knife, you can use a little teaspoon to scoop the center out. And I usually get about three pieces per quarter. You know, you want to try to have your slices uniform. So it cooks evenly. Okay, on to the apple filling. Here is a teaspoon and a half of cinnamon, powdered ground cinnamon. I'm just going to stir this up. All the recipes I have made in the past, all the spices and everything went right on the apples and you put it in the pie. This is a little different. So I coated my apples with cinnamon. Ground plain cinnamon, okay? Put this to the side. Here is one stick of butter. I'm going to add to it three tablespoons of flour. Real simple. It really, it's really an easy recipe. I'm adding a quarter of a cup of water. It's all dissolved. And last, a cup of sugar. And we're making this beautiful sauce. Dissolve the sugar. And we're going to put it over the apples and let it sit. And as we're almost an hour into this, I will take out my pie crust and roll it, put it in a pan, put the apples in, and bake it. It's really, really simple. Okay. Look at that. Delicious. Okay, I'm going to take the sauce right over the apples. Really delicious. It was really a great um, night, the night I served it to my sisters and my brother. The pie came out just perfect. I'm actually going to take this apple pie, as I said, and freeze it. And because we're not having company this Thanksgiving, I'm actually cutting the apple. You got a little skin on there. I'm not afraid of skin, a little bit. Anyway, I'm going to freeze the apple pie into eight slices so my husband can have it one at a time so we don't waste it. It's just the three of us. This way we don't overeat. Look at that. I'm going to let it sit. And we'll be back when we're ready to roll out the pie crust. Simple, delicious. Okay, so I took this, I took my pie crust out of the refrigerator. Going to roll it out. You know, I want to roll it out large enough to fit into my pie plate. 
So you see how I'm doing it, it's cold. Don't play around with this, it has to be done while it's cold. If it gets too warm, the, the dough, it'll fall apart. Uh, it'll just be hard to handle. So I'll see you when I roll this out, I'll be back. Okay, that looks like it's going to fit. Just peel it up. See, it fits in nice. I can smell the butter in here. There's so much butter. So there you go. I'm laying it in there. Look, simple. Just get the rest all around of the dough. Look how quickly I do this. All the extra. Just curl it in. I'll show you how to make the pretty edges. I'm sure a lot of you have done this before. Just a great recipe. Buttery, flaky. I only make this for special occasions because it does have a lot of butter in it. It's not the healthiest, but if you're just having, you know, one slice for the week, it won't kill you. Okay, so... Just with my fingers, I'm just squeezing. Look at that. See how I'm making the pretty little edges? This is what threw my sister off. Not only did it taste delicious, I'm still laughing. She honestly didn't believe me. Look at that. Not only is it delicious, It looks pretty all the way around. No big deal. This was the larger piece of the crust of the dough. I'm sorry. And now we're going to roll out the top piece. So we could put it over our pie in a basket weave setting. Here's my apple pie filling. Just pierce so it can breathe the crust a bit. Just puncture some little holes in it. Okay. Here's my Apple filling, get all that sauce, look at that. See, the, making the sauce is really what makes it different. Please be sure to subscribe and share. My husband yells at me every time I don't tell you to do that. So here you go. Okay. Here's my crust. Okay, so I'm making a few strips. Oh, I didn't do that one good. No big deal. Doesn't have to be so perfect. Okay, here we go. So I'm taking the one from the middle Laying it across. This is what killed my sister. She did not believe it. Every other one, right across. My oven's at 425 degrees. We're going to put the pie in the oven at 425 for 15 minutes and then lower it to 350 for another 45 minutes. So it does take time to cook. You'll put a pan under the pie for any drippings so you don't smoke up your house. Okay. Yeah, I guess that's good enough. Okay, so now we're going to weave it through. No big deal. Every 
other one, just lift it. So it looks like a basket weave, nothing fancy. Look at that. Okay, another one next to it. And so forth, see that? Now, how difficult does that look? It's easy. We're going to take one egg, beat it, and do an egg wash over this. Goes really quick. Okay, isn't that looking beautiful? Really nice. You can take whatever's left over, roll it out, use a little cookie cutter to make fancy little things. In fact, I think I did little stars over it. That really threw her off. Okay, look at that. So I'm going to have to go around it again and make it look pretty. I'll come back when I'm doing the egg wash. Okay, a beaten egg. Just going to brush the dough to make it look nice and shiny. So again, we're going to put this in the oven at 425 for 15 minutes. And then I'm going to lower it to 350 for 45 minutes or on just until you could, when you pierce it, an apple with the knife, it'll go right through. You can tell it's cooked. Oh, look at what I did. Boo-boo, did I do a right? Oh, boo-boo. <clears throat> oh no, I have to do that. I have to fix that, boo-boo. Okay, I fixed it. I needed my basket weave to be fixed. Okay, no big deal. Okay, the egg wash is going to make it look nice and shiny and help it brown. It's going to look just beautiful. Look, it doesn't look perfect, but it definitely looks bakery quality. Okay, ready to go. I'll see you when I pull it out of the oven. Pie looks beautiful. You can see it. Look how nice it started oozing. This pie actually took an hour and 15 minutes to bake. So first 450 degrees for 15 minutes. Then I dropped the temperature down to 350 and I cooked it another hour. I really wanted the edges to be bubbling and I wanted when I stuck my knife in, all the apples had to be soft. So here's my beautiful pie. The steam's still coming out of it. My family is circling around my pie to have a piece. They have to wait an hour, and then I'll freeze the rest. What I like to tell you is, this did take me a few hours to do this today. And a friend of mine said, I don't have a food processor. I just buy the pie crust. And you can do that too. That's really a easy way out. Um, but again, I gave you the instructions to make the pie for us. So it is Friday before Thanksgiving. It's margarita night. I like to wish you all a happy and a healthy Thanksgiving. Please wear a mask. Be safe. Try to stay home uh, and not go out for Thanksgiving. Until December, I'll think of something to cook then.